Hey guys, how you doing? So somebody in my mentoring group is quite young, at least from my perspective. He's 32 years old. He has a job. He's making very good money in the job as a developer, 150K. And he was offered a second job and I told him not to take it probably because it would create a conflict with his current employer. He's got a bunch of money saved up. Uh, he, but he wants to hit his goal within the next three, four years, if I recall. That's pretty lofty goal. I think it was like half a million. Now, which is cool. He's way ahead of the game. If I recall, he's got about 100 grand saved up at this point in time. And uh, made it 150K. And uh, he just wants to really up his earnings. So what I suggested to him, and he's taking the route so far, is that... Uh, you don't want to burn your reputation with your current employer. So if they feel that you're taking a second job with a particular business, it's a conflict. They're not against him necessarily taking a second job or doing some side contracts as a developer. But th this particular job in, in question was a little bit too close to home for them. So I advise him not to take that second job, even though it was offered to him because Again, you don't want to burn your reputation. You don't want to put yourself into a situation where you may have some legal issues. Not for an extra, you know, 70 grand, 80 grand a year. What was an extra 130 grand? He wisely took my counsel, 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 counsel. He, he, he wisely took my advice. There we go. And uh, now he's a little frustrated because he wants to reach his goals. He's tried uh, different businesses and failed. So here's the thing. 20s and 30s are for learning. You're going to hit a lot of brick walls, especially if you're trying to become an entrepreneur. Uh, that's normal. You know, it's like in the movies, you know, we watch these superhero movies or we watch these movies about people starting businesses and it's, it's, it's fake in the sense that uh, in the superhero movies, you know, all these, the fantasy, the teenage fantasy is that you you are actually you are actually a superhero and you have these powers and you have to train on t on the screen for 10 minutes and then all of a sudden you got all these superpowers and you're so good it doesn't work that way uh unless you're a very unusual individual one in a million you have to take your time to build skill uh to build yourself up to become more valuable the ver very first investment should be in yourself in terms of your skill set, you want to become super valuable. Another hugely important skill set is the skill of being patient. Being patient. You have to be patient. When you're younger, uh, you're not so patient because you don't have perspective. Being patient, learning to calm your lizard brain down. That's why I suggest you take my lizard wizard course if, you're, uh, if you haven't already. Uh, learn to control your lizard brain. Learn to control your impulsive self. Remember, especially if you're under 25, uh, your brain does not fully develop until you are 25 years old. And so when you're 20 years old, 22 years old, 23 years old, etc., remember, your, your perceptions of reality are limited with regards to how you'll see the world when you're 25 and 30 years old. You're literally, your engine your cognitive engine is not fully, fully built until 25. So keep that in mind. So as a blanket rule, when you're younger, you got to learn to be patient. Uh, as we used to say back in the day, count to 10, don't be impulsive. So here you got this guy, again, making very good money, already saved up a bunch. He has his goal in mind. Uh, he's tried a whole bunch of different businesses that failed. Hey, welcome to the world. That's the way it works. You know, there's no one hit wonders. You hear about them once in a while. Uh, but they're very rare, and that's why you hear about them, because they're very rare. The vast majority of people who make big money do gradually over time. So just to close off, the key to all of this in terms of career and finance is, number one, protect your health. Number two, protect your reputation. Number three, uh, keep upping your skills. When you get to the point, you want to get to the point where you become extremely valuable, so you're paid a lot for your time. When you start making all that extra money, you want to live below your means. If you make 100000 a year, you shouldn't spend, I would say, spend no more than sixty. You know, they, you know, try to save as much as possible. They try to, they tell you in the uh, 
the financial experts will tell you to save 15% a year, blah, 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 and by the time you're 65, you retire. Well, I say, why not save 30% a year? Why not save 40% a year? Why not save 50% a year? It's what I did. You'll get there so much more quickly. Uh, make sure you don't have any debt, no credit card debt. Uh, again, when we reemphasize, be healthy, eat natural, simple food, exercise daily. This is an investment. If you are in good shape, if you are healthy, you're eating natural food, your cognitive capacity, your mental capacity will be increased. Your energy levels will be increased. You will probably avoid most of the pitfalls of, uh, of ill health, right? 80% of the people who are under medical care today are in the hospitals getting medication. 80% of this is due to what is called metabolic disorder, metabolic health. This is a fancy way of saying you don't eat good food, you eat too much, and you don't exercise. So you do that, you reduce your chance of getting in the hospital by about 80%. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good ROI, return on investment. So there you go. If you're in your teens, 20s, and 30s, that's the learning years. The earlier you can learn to become a saver and investor, the better off you will be. Time is key here. Time is key here. Warren Buffett's ex-business partner, now passed away, he said, the key to getting rich is to get that first $100,000 saved. Uh, once you get that first $100,000 saved, uh, it will start becoming a, uh, a significant contributor to your net worth. So you want to do that. You want to stay lean and mean, both financially and in your body and yourself. And you just want to build, start building up that cash, start building up that cash as quickly as possible. Last point, if you're in your 20s and 30s and you're getting a little frustrated, again, it's part of the process. You're eliminating variables. You're eliminating options. You're developing skill. That's the whole point. Most people make their big money in their 40s and 50s. That's where most people make their huge money. Now, if you're 20 and 30, you go, ah, listen, that's just it. You know, you may be one of the few, the exceptional. But I always say, play to the middle. Never bet on being the exception. Always bet on being average and shoot to be exceptional. It's kind of like when you study for test, right? You you study, you know, to get 100 so that, you know, hopefully you'll get an 80 or a 90. You don't study to get an 80 because you study to get an 80, you're going to get a 50, you're going to get a 60, 70. You get, you get that, right? So you may be the next Mark Zuckerberg who hits it out of the park first time. You may be the next Steve Jobs who hits it out of the park the first time. But you could also be the Instagram founders who had to work on failing apps and uh, ideas for seven years before they got Instagram Instagram going off the ground. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of mistakes. That's okay. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm Uncle Steph. I hope this helps. I mentor people in software development, coding, but career and finance and so many other things. You can check me out at UncleSteph.com. Cheers. Thank you.